Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan in our previous video we just created a simple test case to test our addition method right so by so in order to test our addition method we simply passed what you know two argument one is a 10 another one is about you know 20 so that is kind of performed what you know simple summation of those two number then that is got stored in this uh, a result variable then we actually perform the asset against what you know result and then the with the expected value so everything is fine so now probably you might be wondering how to check my method or is you know how to write a test case to password you know different combination of input as of now this is kind of you know hard coded right so always the output is pretty expected right so we want to test our method by passing what you know different combination of uh, input let's see how to do that in order to do that what we have to do so we have to annotate our class actually what you know run with so in the run with annotation you have to pass argument as what you know parameterized dot class so i'm going to say that i want to run this test case by passing what you know some parameter right so if you look at it how many parameter i mean how many argument we are passing to what you know the test method the method that we are trying to test so we have two argument one is the a another one is a b both are integer right so i have to what you know include the field in the class so private integer a then private integer b right so what i'm going to do i'm going to say instead of hard coding the value i'm going to say a then b right so likewise how many expected we have we have what you know only one expected value so i'm going to create what you know another variable integer expected so i'm going to pass what you know expected variable instead of this constant value so that is fine so now what i'm going to do we have to dynamically pass what you know all the different uh, a combination of input to this attributes you know let's see how to do that so to do that what i have to do i have to create a constructor for this particular class arithmetic test the constructor it's going to take what you know three different argument one is actually what an integer a then integer b then integer expected right so what i'm going to do so in this constructor i'm going to pass what you know the number a number b then then expected output right i'm going to assign all this value value to what you know this particular attributes so to do that this a equal to a this dot b equal to b then i say this dot expected equal to expected we just simply created a constructor which takes taking what you know three different integer argument and then two two of them is a input and one of them is what in you know, expected output so now what i'm going to do i have to create you know one more method so i'm going to say what in you know, the method i want this method to be what you know static obviously this method has to be static so this method is going to return collection right i want to call this method actually what you know parameters right so let me import this one so you have to import the collection from java total package right once that is done so you have to written written arrays dot as a list in this list i'm going to simply pass what new object two dimensional array here i'm going to pass what you know in the first zero to position what i want to do i want to pass what you know integer a integer b and then expected so it's going to be what you know 10 comma 20 so that is means what you know my first a integer value then second b integer value then my expected value right i can create what you know one more entry saying that 2 comma 2 obviously a plus b 2 plus 2 is a 4 right so once that is done you have to annotate this method actually what you know parameterized dot parameter right so now what you have to do let's simply run this test class we'll see what is gonna happen here we go now you can see what you know there is a two different entry means what you know we have a two different entry 10 plus 20 is a 30 so that is satisfied 2 plus 2 it's a 4 that is again satisfied okay now let's give what you know the wrong combination right so what i'm going to do i'm going to say 1 plus 1 
So one plus one has to be two, right? Instead of that, I'm say what in you know, a three. So that is actually what in you know, a wrong. So how many iteration we want to perform? We want to perform three iteration, right? So the my expectation is that the third iteration should fail. Let's see by running this example. Here we go. Now you can see what the first iteration is succeeded. The second iteration has also succeeded, but the third iteration it says what assertion error because what the expected is three. Obviously, the expected we saying what you know is a three, but actually computed value is what you know two. So it has to be failed. So this is how you can use what you know parameterized in your JUnit framework. Thanks for watching.